nuclease. And what it's going to do is it's going to cut off or strip away the primers. So it'll come in and it's going to take those primers off because we don't want those primers in our DNA. We just want DNA. So there will be a group of enzymes that come in and the DNA is going to be proofread. I mean, these enzymes are going to go down the sides and look for mistakes. And then we have a new enzyme called ligase. And what it's going to do is it's going to um, bind the strands together. So it's going to go and it's going to sew up all the Akizaki fragments and make sure they're all together. It's going to go and it's going to make sure that the, the three prime strand gets replicated correctly. And so ligase is going to go in, it's going to connect all the Akazaki fragments, and it's going to make sure that the nucleotides are all um, sealed up and put together. So what we end up with is two new strands of DNA. So we started out with our strand of DNA It unwound and it un unwind and then it's going to be unzipped and so that we get the three prime strand and the five prime strand. They get separated. By the helicase, remember the helicase breaks the bonds between the nitrogen bases. So let's put some bases up here just for reference. Notice that they're complementary to each other. Remember our base pair rules. that where you see a T, it's going to be bonded to an A. And where you see a C, it's going to be bonded to a G. So the three prime strand, it has the three prime carbon sticking out. And so we had the primase knew where to put the primer. And so then we built our new strand of DNA. And it was built continuously, meaning there was no breaks in the segments of nucleotides. And it was said to replicate continuously. Versus the five prime strand, we got fragments called Akazaki fragments. because the primase didn't know where the three carbon was or it wasn't at a reactive site. And so it put many different primers on the nucleotide chain. And then we had to have ligase come in and sew up the Akazaki fragments. And the five prime strand is said to be replicated discontinuously because we ended up with those fragments. And so we got continuous replication for the three prime strand. And we got get discontinuous replication for the five, five prime strand. So when things are all said and done, it's going to wind back up.
and we end up with two strands of DNA. This process is said to be semi-conservative. So if we break this word up into its prefix and suffixes, semi means almost or half, conserve, save. And so in a, this replication process, one half of the parent strand of DNA is always conserved or saved. So in our picture, that represents the black strands. And so we know that this one started with three primes. So that strand is going to end in five. This side, five prime, three prime. And then we can put the opposite labels on the purple strands. And voila, two new strands.